Goedendag. Oeh, cheater. Als je het dus door vier doet, niet. <laughs> Wat doe je nou? Dit is niet hoe je lift hoort te werken. Moet ik nou dicht? Nee, nee, nee. Ik moet nee. wel even dicht. Kan ik het cancelen? Ja. Nee, ik moet gewoon dicht. Ik moet gewoon dicht. Oké, okay. we, we gaan nu naar de vijfde. Ja, maar dat, nee. Loop je wel. We moeten even naar de camera kijken. <laughs> Wat gewoon die keer. So, uh, we're the creators of uh, mac and cheese. And, uh, You've probably seen it already if you're watching this making off. And uh, we're just going to talk about uh, about how we <laughs> created Mac and Cheese a little bit. Hey, I'm Roy Nitro and um, I'm the technical director and lead animator and animation supervisor wow. of <laughs> Mac and Cheese. I'm uh, Tom Hankins. I was the uh, art director of the film, uh, which kind of means I... <laughs> I am Gijs van Koten. Uh, I did... Uh, also some stuff on Mac and Cheese. I came up with the original storyboard and did the backgrounds and also a third of the animation. Guido Puik. And um, I was uh, an animator and um, a modeler for, uh, for Mac and Cheese. What? 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 So, uh, Mac and Cheese was our graduation project, and um, uh, we were free to do whatever we wanted uh, in the period of uh, four to five months. In class, we were always taught that story was the most important thing. We wanted to get away from that and really focus on only the visuals and the action sequence and the intensity of it all, I guess. I was the one who uh, made the first storyboard back in the winter, and uh, after that, we started the project, and we all sort of uh, worked on the storyboard with the four of us, and we got it to a point that we really liked. I mean, it was really ugly though, because uh, none of us is particularly good at drawing. I was also uh, in charge of doing the environments uh, for the mac and cheese film, which was kind of weird because I usually don't do environments, but none of us do, do so someone had to do it. Uh, the way I did it was I blocked it out in Maya, uh, like really, really basic, and then I went into ZBrush and sculpted it and it was kind of funny the way we got the visual style from it uh, with the with the triangles and such is from Decimation Master, which is a plugin from ZBrush, which we originally only used to be able to quickly put the model back in Maya to see for the blocking if it would work. Well, we kind of liked the style so much that we just kept it there like the final model instead of using uh, displacement or normal mapping for the details. The only thing we were kind of afraid of is when uh, Guido came up with a shot, which is which is a cool shot from the from the highway where everything twists, and we were kind of afraid that with the with the weird topology and the triangles that it wouldn't be able to deform right or that it would behave uh, weirdly, but we managed to do that anyway, as you can see here, and this is done really easily actually, by just selecting the whole environment and uh, putting a, a twist deformer on it and animating that. Well, the magic is ruined. <laughs> All the magic is ruined, yeah. Wow. So that's it. I did some, uh, I did the character design for the uh, both of our characters. A lot of people think they're called mac and cheese, but they're not. Uh, during production we actually called them uh, Biggie and Skinny, because one guy is very big and the other guy is very very skinny. And uh, they're, they're a little bit inspired by the uh, Team Fortress 2 characters, which are like awesome animations that we really wanted to do something alike, so we used those uh, characters for references. We wanted to create this very uh, 2D-ish kind of style, this 2D-ish kind of look. So uh, in Maya, this is, would be possible, but, but you don't have like a lot of control over uh, every single element. So what I did is render everything out, all the separate uh, shadow layers and stuff like that, and use them for color correction in uh, Fusion. I have. Um, the basic color layer for the for the character and I also have a basic color layer for the environment. So what I actually do is use this layer which looks kind of weird but it consists out of three separate passes. Uh, in the red channel red channel, I have a shadow pass, in the green channel I have a falloff pass and in the blue channel I have an ambient occlusion pass. So all combined it looks like this, a little bit weird. When going for a 2D-ish kind of uh, style you don't need that, this much detail. But what I did is extract certain uh, maps like ambient occlusion and cavity maps and normal maps and even displacement maps. 
to use them in Photoshop for texturing to create the discolorations for uh, the, the actual final texturing. So if you look over here, you can see that I kind of used all that detail for the clothing and other parts of his body for the final texture. As the technical director of Mac and Cheese, I had to solve all the problems well, that would come up in, uh, in production. And uh, a couple of the, the problems that we had were, were the characters. We wanted them to be bendable, stretchy, scalable, everything just out of control. And uh, what I did was create a, an auto rigger for it so we uh, could automate the process of rigging and speed that up in our workflow. So we uh, would have enough time left to animate the actual film. And uh, what I did is create a, an extra tool set that would first you would grab a, a controller of the character and then you would lock it so you have uh, all the controls. Now I select uh, with this button I select the, the left shoulder like over here. So to get rid of the, uh, most of our animation problems and uh, make it more efficient, I wrote a, a thesis, uh, the research uh, on how to create uh, animation more efficiently with a tool set. You can find the, the, the paper called Pressure Release Animate on PressureReleaseAnimate.com. I, uh, I was an animator uh, for, uh, for Mac and Cheese. I animated about well, one third of the movie, uh, together with uh, Gijs and Roy. Um, and um, yeah, that uh, took us a while. <laughs> This shot's right at the end, where Biggie's cornered skinny. And uh, we want Biggie to be really big uh, and, and scary because, you know, it's the end of the movie and he's finally cornered him. So we wanted it to be really heavy, so we added a, a camera shake in, uh, in 3D so he really have his, the impact of his foot, so he just... Well, what we did with this shot was make, was make it... Um, we added some letterboxing here in... Uh, afterwards so this bit of the screen would be missing that was that was kind of to have to make it a bit like a western movie have like a western reference in it because well it really fits the really fits the uh, the mood of this of this scene to have it like ladder box very wide very well cinemascope we actually scaled biggie up a bit in this scene to make him even bigger and every step he scales up a little bit, so it, it like it gets bigger with every step. So we want to thank you guys for helping us achieve those. Uh, I believe it's a 1.1 million views already on Vimeo, and you know, voting for us on uh, on the, you know, all the Facebook links we've posted. Yeah, our next project is a 3D pornographic film called uh, Kitties in the Park, which in Dutch would be Pushes in the Park. Which makes a lot more it sense. It kind of sounds like kitties, like kids. <laughs> Let me rephrase. A park full of pussies. A park uh, full of pussies. A fist Puss in park. A fist full a of dicks. Fist full of <laughs> <laughs> and you can expect a prequel to that in 2013, 2013. called uh, For a Few Dicks More, uh, <laughs> followed by The Good, The Bad and The Fister, <laughs> which uh, incidentally will feature uh, Skinny's father in the main character as Uncle Lister the Sister Fister. Once upon a time in your ass. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a gay porn directed by Roy. <laughs> yes, but then by then we'll probably have our own motion capture studio. So Mike, yeah, so Roy yeah. connected all out. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take you know and just you know. No, just you know, go at it like man. If anybody is watching this and you have like a lot of money, you want to give us, you can like give it to us. <laughs> money <laughs> equals animation. That's the the equation here. Yeah. It's kind of like tits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys know my grandma's going to watch this, right? <laughs> <laughs>